Smoking It Here, for time for Life with Chemistry, Part 2. Sorry, but Shoutrun's not here today, so I took over for him. Yeah, I know, we have a voice that sounds a lot alike. It's one of Mokina's secret 100 techniques. So, let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about medical scientists. A medical scientist is someone who researches diseases to improve health. They create vaccines, improve knowledge of dangerous infectious agents, which this woman seriously needed. They also improve diagnoses and treatments. A medical scientist job includes lab research, clinical investigation, technical writing, drug application review, and other such activities. This can be a wide variety, and the equipment that you'll be using also will widen in as well. However, there is a long road ahead if you, if you plan on becoming a medical scientist. First, you need to be at least a licensed physician. This is an absolute. Next, you need a bachelor's in biological science. And you also need medical degrees and a PhD, depending on the job you're applying for. I mean, this could be anything from a simple scientist researching the common cold, or you could be coming up with a cure for cancer. Next, you're going to need all the chemistry and biology required classes for college. That's also a must. Next, you're going to need to study your allied disciplines. An allied discipline is a class such as physics, biology, math, physics, engineering. I probably said some of these already twice by now. But you get the idea. It needs to be something that is related to what you're trying to get. Colleges that offer these classes will be posted at the end of the video. However, if you're looking for a job, I suggest you look elsewhere other than YouTube. All right, let's say you finally passed all the classes. Once again, look at the end of the video for employers. But let's say that you already have and you found some employers. You're probably going to have to work with a postdoctoral position first. This is usually what happens. It's something along the lines of an internship. Next, you're going to need to probably have some grant money for the industry or the lab that you're working at since most people don't get that many funds because they're underrated for their research. However, making between $40,830 to $88,130 as an average and only an average pay, then that's pretty good for all the hard work that you guys put in. I mean, let's consider that the average top 10% earns over $100,000 a year. This is an annual payment. Now, that's not the only reason you're probably already interested in medicine, chemistry, and the whole shebang of science itself. Now, let's also consider the lives you may be saving with cures for things such as cancer and everyday lives that you'll make better with common cold cures and little pills that'll make everything better for everybody. That is the wonderful life led by a medical scientist. Well, this is Mokina, hoping that Shawron will be back next time because I'm a very bad speaker. But, if not, I'll see you next time on Chemistry and Life.